There we go, baby. Today was the day that I shot my first turkey. Are you ready to go down wood down? Feet down and the beat down. Mongers are our guide today. And I knew the birds were gonna come in. This could be a fucking crazy one. Not even time to move it out. We canceling all flights. Twenty twenty four turkey hunting season in eastern Ontario. Last year I had the pleasure of shooting my first turkey with a good friend of mine. The feeling and the rush you get from shooting that first bird is something you can't even explain. <laughs> Daddy, my boy, dude! Emotions fill your body, and I kind of lost control when it happened. Truly an amazing experience to harvest my first wild turkey. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh God, I'm crying. Oh my God, first turkey, man. Look at that bird. This year we have two goals. One is for myself to harvest a turkey on my own without a guide. And the other is to go hunting with Teddy in the woods and get Josh his first wild turkey ever. So I started off the first morning driving to get some decoys. It was a beautiful morning. We got there a little late this morning. We could hear turkeys gobbling as we pulled up. So we got geared up quick, walked out there and got our decoy set up and started hunting. We sat in that spot for a while and we weren't really seeing any action, so we heard turkeys on the other side of the tree, so we tried to find them, see if we could walk up on them, but they saw us and they spooked. I'll try and go right there in that corner and call them over. Yeah, we could. So then we set up in another field, waited there for a few minutes, no luck. And we finally decided, you know what, let's go back to our original spot, give it another hour, see what happens. So I'm sitting there, I'm calling, I'm calling. And all of a sudden this big Tom by himself comes out of the trees and starts walking his way over. He actually walked past the decoys, but then he turned around and just puffed right up and ran right in. And that was my opportunity to take the shot and I took it down. There we go, baby. Oh, buddy. Nice shot. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, there it is. It's so awesome being able to call in a bird on your own, get the job done, and get that harvest. It was not as memorable as last year's turkey, shooting my first one, but it was pretty dang close with uh, doing all the work myself and getting it done. So what a truly awesome experience.
So a week later, we had our hunt scheduled with Teddy in the woods. And we met up with him the night before at a field that's not very far from Ottawa. And the boys were actually spending the night there. So they uh, set up camp, you know, they cooked some food. Start with our size. They just had a blast hanging out, eating the night before the big hunt, so. What's up, Gear Nation? We out here, we're about to go on a turkey hunt with Teddy. He's gonna run us through the game plan for tomorrow. What's going on, guys? We have a plan in store for tomorrow. The turkey gods are upon us. Hopefully we can get set up after uh, this unexpected sprayer here. Uh, Leaves, we're gonna go out the field, set the blind up, and uh, for plan B, that's why we got old Reap and Whalen here. Let me introduce you to him. Well, if you're gonna introduce me, you might have introduced the reason I'm here too. This is our Reaper decoy. We call him uh, Doc Holiday because uh, he'll play for blood. And that's uh, the story behind Doc. He's, we just, yeah. I don't know how to talk by the camera. <laughs> Whalen here, he's really good at reaping, that's why we brought him. I did my first uh, reap last weekend. I had no idea what the hell was going on, and Whalen just looked back and assured me, just stick to my ass. Yep, so I ass. stuck to his ass, and we crawled, and next thing you know it, the bird cut, we didn't do nothing. He just waved his, just like that. The bird come right in, no, just like nothing. So hopefully tomorrow, if we don't get her done first thing in the morning, then that's what we're doing. So now that we've got the game planned all figured out, we're gonna have some grub, we're gonna set up camp, we're gonna throw out the blind in the middle, and then we go into sleep, and then you guys can catch us in the morning. We got a game plan from Teddy about what to expect, and they headed off to bed, and first thing in the morning, we were getting after it, and hopefully getting Josh's first bird. Morning sunshine. Oh, good morning sunshine. Sleep good or what? No, not at all. Let's go. Let's go, Dad, baby. So we started off the morning with all four of us sitting in the blind. Teddy was calling. But yeah, we were waiting in the blind for a while. We did see a couple birds, but no Toms or Jakes. So we gave it some time and After a while, Waylon said, let's go take a look, see if we can do some reaping and try to get a bird this way. So Waylon and I left the blind, walked over to the edge of the tree line, and we see like 15 turkeys just sitting there. Tried to reap them in, but they knew something was up and they just slowly walked into the woods. So we went back to the blind and those turkeys ended up coming out at the far end of the trees or they pushed some other turkeys out. But anyways, these turkeys come out of the trees and they're walking through the field and we were hoping they were gonna come in. There were three jakes. And eventually they crossed the whole field and disappeared. So at this point, Waylon and I were gonna go check another part of the field and just see what's up. So we left again. And about five minutes later, those three Jakes that we thought left turned around, ran right back to the decoys and were right in the face of Josh. And the Jakes were beating up the decoys. They were going crazy. And Josh just had to wait because the two turkeys were lined up the whole time. He just had to wait for one to separate so he could get a shot. And Took a little minute, but thank God Teddy was here, had me wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. These things just wouldn't come unglued. Gee, guys. Yeah, buddy. Got her done. Got her done. Literally, like, 
it's like we got five days left of the season. Yeah. Hard thing to do. Everything ran in. No man, like as soon as I just seen them like that, I just in. as soon as I got on the bucket and I started I seen them, it's just kinda like weary. Then they walked out, then all of a sudden they got a little closer, then they ran right yeah. in. They beat that Jake T clean right down the left. Yeah. Up to peg. Yeah. It's a nice it's a nice Jake. I bet you she's 17 pounds. It was a big it's a lot bigger than my decoy. Yeah. 24 birds, Teddy in the woods. Oh yeah. Whip, whip. Well boys, today was the day. I shot my first turkey. Wasn't a big, big Tom that we were hoping for, but guess what? It's a big Jake. Came in like an animal. Beat up Teddy's decoy, put her to the ground. But luckily Teddy was there because he told me, wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. There was two Jakes and they were glued together. They only got one tag to fill. So we waited, 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 and then all of a sudden, they both turned different ends. Teddy said, take them. So, we ended up bagging the bird. Waylon was talking, it's probably around 15 pounds. I'll take it for the first bird. So, if you're ever looking for a turkey guide, you know who to call. Teddy in the Woods, Shawinahan, Cole Outfitters, any of those guys, they'll put you on the birds. If you're looking for a guided hunt, whether it's for turkeys, whether it's for ducks, whether it's for deer, if you want to go fishing, you know who to call. You got to call Teddy in the Woods. He'll get you on any of it. He is just an outstanding guide, knows what he's doing when it comes to hunting and fishing in his area. He's just a great guy. You, you want to give him a call if you're looking for a guide in Eastern Ontario. He's the man. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you got any questions or concerns, leave a comment below because we love hearing from you guys. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we try to drop content as often as we can. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.